what's good youtube this your boy chi world back at y'all again with another art tutorial man if you're new to the channel go ahead and hit that like button comment subscribe make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time you boy drop some heat in today's video i will be showing you guys how to make a cartoon of yourself so without further ado let's jump right to this video first thing you want to do you want to drag and drop the picture Right inside Adobe Illustrator. Hold shift to make it bigger. Let me see. Fit it right on. Let's see, that's a little smaller. That's good right there. Big. Now what I do is while well, I gotta select it, come up here to opacity and drop that down some. After you drop the opacity down, what you want to do, you want to just lock that layer, create you a new layer right above it. And now we finna set our pressure sensitivity. So the only way you can get this option if you're using a digital or a tablet, I repeat, the only way you can get this option if you're using a digital or a tablet, you cannot get pressure options using your mouse this is what you do you come right here go to new brush hit okay then you want to come to pressure hit three and then select three and hit okay now what we're gonna do we're gonna make our line work so what you want to do you want to zoom in your picture zoom in close as you can so you can make some clean lines We're gonna come in, add some finer details. Now what I'm doing now, I'm gonna make like a hair patch. So to make this part easy, instead of having to draw the hairs, we're just gonna make a few of them. We're gonna copy this, hold Alt, and we're just gonna drag and paste. And let me turn it the other way. Do the same thing. Drag and paste. So that bought us some time, you know what I'm saying? But we still gonna blend it in. We're just drawing more so it don't look so computerized. Creating your own patches of hair, it'll buy you time, but 
you gotta know when to use it because you don't want to do that too much or to start looking to start looking crazy man it won't look nice but if you blend it in with drawing it and printing it at the same time copying and pasting it it'll, it'll give you a nice little realistic looking texture It's all about how much time you put into your work as well, you know what I'm saying? Take your time, put some time into it. The end results will come out real nice if you just really add some finer details to your pictures. Okay, that's looking nice. Let's get up here, work on these eyebrows. I like to do like the outer hairs first and then I fill in the center. So we'll make this fade. I always try to come up with different little techniques as well. You know what I'm saying? Experiment. It's all about when you're trying to create these hairs, it's try to be consistent. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm doing one motion. Got to fill in the inside by just adding more hairs, making it flow. Just making it all flow. Now what I'm about to do is I'm about to make my brush a little bigger so it'll look fuller on the inside, but I'm gonna just stay in the center with it. Okay, that's good right there for that brush. Let's come to, the, come to this side. Let's do the same thing. We're just gonna go right in the center to make it full. Come back to my small brush so I can finish adding the little small pieces of hair. What we about to do is we about to go to our pencil tool, move this black color to the top, make sure your bottom color is locked. Let's go ahead and fill in these eyes. So go ahead and just, we're gonna come back and put detail inside them later. But for now, we're just gonna fill them in and make them black. Also, we're gonna use this pencil tool to fill in this beard. So let's go ahead and try to get that style going.
Now that we officially finish with the line work, let me come right here. Make this a little thicker. Now that we finished with the line work, what you want to do, you want to highlight, highlight everything, go to object, expand appearance, then you want to click merge on your pathfinder. After you do that, you want to come right here to your line work and drag it down to this blank sheet of paper to make a copy, lock the top copy. Make sure you got the bottom copy selected. Now you want to find a nice skin tone to start with. Let me see. It would be a nice little. Okay, that's pretty good for now. Then you want to go to your rectangle tool and drag that color over the entire picture. Right click the color, go to arrange, send to back. Highlight everything. Then you want to go to merge on your pathfinder so the color can become one with your line work. Now you want to right click the color, isolate, select group, and you can delete the outer color. Another thing I like to do, I like to hit this drop down menu, hit it again, stroll down until I see my last black line work. I keep strolling. Once you see the last black line work, let's see what is it right here. You want to lock them all, lock all your black lines. Just hold the lock button and keep these top two unlocked. Then you want to close it. Now, let's. Isolate, select group, hold shift to color more than one thing at a time. Make that white. Let's tweak these colors a little bit. All you gotta do is highlight everything. Then you wanna come up here to object. I mean, you wanna go to edit. Then you wanna go to edit color. And then I'm gonna go to adjust color balance. Then I'm gonna hit okay. Okay, go to my white arrow tool. Let's delete these colors that's trapped inside the hairs. That's why we lock all our black lines. So this can be a lot easier. And we can delete all these colors without making a mistake and deleting our line work. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna make a copy of our color layer, lock the bottom copy, turn the eye off, go to the copy that's in the center. While we still got our white selection tool selected, we're gonna delete the skin tone. Only, only the skin tone. So let's delete. Now that we deleted the skin tone out that layer, we can bring the full color layer back. 
create us a new layer in between those two. And now this is gonna be the layer we do all our shading on for the skin tone. So sample the skin tone. Now let's find a nice shadow for it. Let's see, I think that'll do right there. Go to my pencil tool, make sure the color is at the top and your bottom one is locked. So now let's add our shadows.
And there you have it, you guys, how to make a cartoon head. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you stay tuned. More heat coming soon. I'm out of thing.